squad checking in with you. It's the exam coach here. Today, I want to talk about information, <laughs> how you perceive it coming through your smartphone every day. And I want to uh, talk a little bit about how my approach has changed from when I was young, uh, student vibes, to now. So the analogy I want to use here to describe the way I now process information coming through the smartphone and also information just from people as well, but mainly information on the internet and through the smartphone, is the holes in my sieve have become a lot smaller. So what I mean by that is I see attention and information uh, as, let's say, flour and you're you're sieving away at the flour the flour is the information right there's loads of it loads of flour out there the information that exists in the world is the flour and the sieve is let's call it your attention barrier or your you know your your guardrails that you put up against blocking out the bad flour or the flour that's not going to make the best cakes you just want the the lovely you know smooth granules i'm no g ramsey but i'm just going for this one so bear with me you want that flour that's going to make the best bake right mary from great british bake off she's gonna you know support that bake phil if that's his name, I don't watch Great British Bake Off, but the dude with the grey hair who just loves absolutely chowing down on a good on a good cupcake and appreciating it. Cracking, cracking bloke, great, great bit of feedback he gives, but he's gonna give you a solid piece of feedback off the back of this cake. Because you're only letting in the best flour, the best information into your your world. And there is so much information out there that you can quite easily let too much of it in or let the wrong type in and you'll end up with a crap bake. You wanna make sure it's a good bake. So when I was a lot younger, the holes in my attention sieve were a lot bigger. I would note down everything. I would think everything was insightful. I'd pay attention to stuff that really didn't matter. I'd procrastinate. I'd, you know, get hooked on YouTube videos about just random stuff that I was kind of thinking of doing, but wasn't really doing, I was just, and I wanted to do them. I was like, oh, that would be awesome if I could do that. Go travelling or uh, accomplish like, a new technique and something I was trying to get better at. Just, you know, playing a bit too much of a spectator role rather than looking at, right, how do I take what's out there and, and implement it for myself in my life effectively and actually get this stuff moving forward, get ro- rolling and actually build up some momentum here because this, this is a phenomenal opportunity you can basically figure out how to do anything via the smartphone and then uh, you're in an absolutely cracking position because you're always uh, you know getting info on how to do things so really what you want to think about off the back of this podcast is what do you and what don't you pay attention to have you even thought about that before So, for example, one of the things I do, I I do not uh, watch any mainstream news, whether it's going direct search, Googling, BBC News, Sky Sport, Sky News. The only thing that I do do is I look at the sports news once a day and I will pick out one or two articles about the stuff I'm interested in because I like sport. I just but I'll do that in, say, five minutes. Just have a quick check up. Okay, who's what's going on? That's it. That's my piece any of the mainstream stuff weather don't look at it i take the hit if it rains i've got snapchats which show me just getting absolutely pummeled with rain because i just don't check and then because i just don't want to i just don't i and i don't and also i don't want to use that as a it's another piece of that is i don't want to use the weather in my small talk i think it's it's crap crap line just start chatting about the weather i don't want to do that i'll chat about the person and what they're interested in you know highlights of the week and stuff like that that's much more interesting than the bloody weather, you know. Sharpen up a bit there. But um, essentially, think about this. Think about your attention sieve, sorting it out, figuring out what you are and what you are not prepared to spend time and attention on. And what you'll find is very, very quickly you start to make huge improvements 
One, in the way you think. You're happy because you're not procrastinating. You're happy because you're getting stuff done. You're, pop, you're popping into content. You're looking at how-to videos or how-to podcasts. Or, which I, I think, let me go into this a bit. This is really important, the combination of content. Thinking of yourself like a, uh, almost like a machine. You need, you need certain things to function well, right? You need the instruction manuals, the how-tos. How to study well, how to use your smartphone right, how to apply for a job. You know, the best practices around that. Take that from other people. Boom. Then execute yourself. Then you need to figure out, okay, every day, how do I prep myself to be on my absolute A-game? And the way I do that and what I really respond to, but I have to be careful with myself because... It's very easy to fall into the trap of becoming like a motivation junkie, but I need or I like to have, whether it's my own motivation, looking at like my own kind of motivational pieces, I like pictures up on the wall or like little videos that I've done. Uh, I'll either look at them and I'll just take five minutes out of my day to look at that and really soak it all in at the beginning of the day. Because I think what it does is it just just gives you that kick in the right direction that you need you know and it's worth spending that five minutes to watch that vid or listen to that podcast take that five out your day and then know you're going to be on an upwards trajectory throughout the rest of the day and you need that hit every day you know it's like water you need it you need to get that water on board keep topping up the tank day in day out consistently and uh, you're going to find it in a real good spot if you can do that consistently the issue is that a lot of people they they take too much right so they'll just get addicted to watching these like really good motivation videos and they'll be so motivated and be like yeah yeah yeah, let's do it and they don't actually have any time to do any of the stuff and that's a motivation junkie you're just you're just watching that youtube video on loop or autoplay after autoplay and you don't want to do that you want to vet against that so try and ration yourself kind of one i like a five minute something like that just just pump you up get those key beliefs and, and ideas pumped into your system and you just start like that's that's you you just start executing against that it's what you believe it's like your background and uh then you're off to the races like you, you really are like this i'm making it sound just extremely simple here but it is just that simple and it's and it's about guarding i work in advertising right now for you know, probably one of the most exciting agencies out there it's just so you know, human attention and how it's captured and how to keep it. Guys, it's pretty basic. Like, there's there's triggers you can push in a human that's been developed over thousands and thousands and thousands of years. The big tech platforms use them. Gambling companies use them. Advertisers, I think, try and tap into them a bit more emotionally and authentically, maybe. But, you know, it's all the same thing. And you, you can guard against it. Like, it's not that hard to, to figure it out. Um, and I'm going to go into a bit more detail on it. I think it's really important that you guys at least understand like where my head's at with this because the end game of it all is going to arm you so bloody well to just be able to navigate the internet and extract what you want from it and ignore what you don't want and what's unproductive to what you're trying to do in life if you can do that yeah I, I genuinely believe like 500 a thousand years from now history classes will just be taught that this was the time when this thing called the internet was built the internet's 20 years old it's bloody young you know 30 maybe max it's so young right this is just the start you got to understand that the fact that you're born now the fact that you're 13 to 18 now you're in position a you are absolutely in position a uh smartphone 10 years old incredible incredible right iPhone celebrated its 10th anniversary just last year. This this is opportunity central right here. No matter where you're born, if you've got access to the internet and you've got a smartphone in your hand, it doesn't matter what model, it doesn't matter how fast it is, get some info in your head and start reading, start taking in some knowledge and and figuring out, okay, what do I, what do I, what would I like, you know, this story to play out like, and, and how can I use this thing to try and help me get there? Because if you can do that, you're you're on you're on the road to A Town, and I'm I'm going to support you everywhere, this every step of the way there, telling you what I know. Uh, keep learning, 
It's, it's absolutely cracking, and I'm so ex- I'm so excited for you if you can actually get it done. I, I, I tried to live with absolutely no regrets. It's something that I was actually thinking about today when I was uh, doing my exam coach stuff. Was you know what? Oh, sorry, my workout. It was like we, you know, what would the slogan be for uh, for the exam coach? And I was thinking, is it is it something like no regrets? Because that's sort of what I'm always trying to do. In, in fact. 90 percent of the decisions I'm making day to day, I'm just using Jeffy B, Jeff Bezos. That's just my name from. So I do watch a lot of his content and take a lot of inspiration from the guy. Uh, just phenomenal uh, thinker, I think. But uh, he was he was saying that the thing he did to to decide to build Amazon was the regret minimization framework where he just said look if I if I don't try and build Amazon and do this thing will I regret will I regret it when I'm 80 that's the, that's the simple framework you use are you going to regret whatever you're trying to do if you don't do it and you get to 80 you're going to look back and be like ah, I should have given that a shot I missed my opportunity there and if the answer is yeah you're going to regret it then do it Swing the bat and swing it hard. Go for it. Why not? You've got nothing to lose. Uh, you can always rebuild. The opportunity is out there. You can find it. So, hey, it's a win-win. And I just want you guys to make sure you understand that the younger you can, the, as you will see on the say, the regret, one regret that maybe I have is that I should have started doing this earlier. And I think everybody says that, right? You could have just started even earlier than you did. But uh, if you can start and you're, if you're 13 to 15 looking, reading, uh, listening to this, God, I'm jealous of you. Like, you, you, you could absolutely, you know, really be in, in, in top-notch conditions. Uh, sorry, I almost got ran over by a motorbike, but I'm good because I'm still delivering the podcast. So, yeah, just... Heed, heed the advice. Please do. Um, Don't just think and ponder. And uh, I, I wish you a tremendous day, evening, rest of week, rest of month, rest of year. You know, we're halfway through 2018 right now. Still got the second half to play. Huge things ahead. Here we go.